Good morning, guys. Happy Monday. I'm off to Pilates this morning. I'm determined to get back into the swing of things with going to the gym slash Pilates because obviously over the two weeks that I was in isolation, I only probably did like a handful of workouts, maybe even five. And that's not like me. Like I usually work out five to six days a week or I just at least like going to Pilates at least three to four times a week. So obviously last week was hectic. I didn't even go to the gym once or didn't even work out once because as you can imagine, it was just hectic and I didn't even think about going to the gym. So this week I'm gonna make more of an effort and not gonna lie, it's hard. When you haven't gone to the gym in so long, well, it feels like so long, like three weeks, it's like you really need to like, I don't know, motivate yourself to go. But I'm going to Pilates this morning, I'm excited. I booked it last night, so Peter's gonna go drop me this morning and then he'll go to the gym. I also got a massive package from Elite Sups. I'm gonna clean the house today as well. That's why the stools are on the bench. But Peter wanted to try this flavor of Oxyway. That's his favorite protein. Emerald Labs, I think that's a new product actually. No idea, but that's a pre, I think it's like a pre-workout or either a fat burner. Three flavors of, um, the custard. I got vanilla, banana, and chalk hazelnut from your recommendation. So I'm going to actually try that right now. I might try the banana one in my oats and see how I go. But I also got some more oxy shred in passion fruit. This one's my favorite flavor to have before my um, PT sessions. Hey guys, I got back from Pilates a few hours ago, but I've just been cleaning the whole entire house today because we we're so busy with the launch last weekend, I didn't actually clean the house. So I've been doing that all day. I just did, Peter just did all the vacuuming. I'm just about to finish off the mopping, did the bathrooms, did the shower. Oh, I just feel so much better when everything is clean. I do need to tackle, oof, that room's not okay. This room, I've just like accumulated so much shit and I've just been putting it all on the floor. So I need to find homes for that. Hang up all of my clothes that I have just dumped on the floor as well. Um, but yeah, I need to wash my makeup brushes as well because I haven't deep cleaned them in a few weeks. So I'm going to do that. Reminder, if you haven't cleaned your makeup brushes, do it. I just use a shampoo. The Johnson's Baby Shampoo is good, but yeah, I think I just use like a little soap disc it might be like an exo beauty one or a beauty blender one i can't remember what i actually use it must be in there but yeah if you don't have any of them just a johnson's baby shampoo or just like a cheap shampoo from coles or woolies like the coles or woolies branded shampoo that's like a dollar that's what i always use to clean my makeup brushes with and then my beauty blenders i clean with this daiso detergent for puff and sponge it's amazing it's like three or two dollars from yeah like i said daiso i literally bought like 50 of them before i moved to perth so i am stocked up for a while so yeah, i'm gonna do that today as well i'm gonna go make a protein cookie with my smart protein bars because i got so many and i'm gonna try new flavor so yeah on 13 mins is perfect on 180. I'm going to try cookies and cream. CBS Billion. I'm going to make a coffee. I also have all these flowers that are like dying. <laughs> but I need to too. I might just keep them. This one's so pretty. That's the worst lighting. Wow. This one. Look at it. It smells so good as well. I don't want to throw them away. Um, yeah, I'm about to do my Stax try on haul. So I might show you guys here as well if it's not already sold out by the time I upload this video. Hopefully not. Um, I feel like we've got enough, but you just never know how crazy you guys are. It still wigs me out. What do you mean? There we go. I always have to have a candle burning. I know I need help, but I love candles. 
Good morning, guys. I didn't vlog that much yesterday because I was in the zone when I was cleaning the house. Like, I just wanted it done. It was pissing me off that I hadn't cleaned in, like, two weeks. So, yeah, that's pretty much what I did yesterday. It took me, like, two hours. And then I just – I think I just caught up on emails pretty much and just relaxed. I did my stacks little try-on on my stories. I'll show you guys the jumper. Even though I think I showed you guys in my last vlog anyways, but this one I'm wearing is a small to medium. So small women's um, and then medium for men's because like they classify all their jumpers as unisex. But I just, this is just like the perfect fit for me. Like this is how I wear all of my oversized jumpers. Like I like this look. So it just goes past the bum. It's not as long as the hoodies that they have. Like their hoodies go to about down there because they're like sort of like dress type hoodies but this is like a proper um like a slouchy crew jumper and i'm actually wearing these bike pants are the seamless ones from stack so they're from their last drop i think but yeah they're really really nice i'm gonna make i think peanut butter and banana on toast because it's my favorite and yeah i'll chat with you guys later i have so much to do today i've got content to film for a makeup company on makeup by jazz I need to do three invoices. I need to do Instagram stories. I'm a busy gal today. So yeah, I will chat with you guys after. But first, let's make breakfast. Got back from the gym, found these in Woolworths. So I decided to get all three. They aren't really keto friendly, but they're definitely a great healthier alternative. Um, like low sugar, like 0 0.7. Calories are good, 82, but this one has eight. I guess it is low carb, eight grams of carbs. I think there's one flavor that has 10, but they're the new no shoe snackles. They kind of remind me of LCMs. Then I got some more jelly lights, some more bread. And then I got some Cruskets. And I got some of these as well. There's something diff. English muffins. My favorite chips. Had to get these. We got HelloFresh yesterday, so we've got all of our meat and veggies. Some avos. I'm obsessed with these. They're so good. Olive oil spray. These are yum as well, especially when you're on the go. I've got some eggs and also some egg whites, which have been out of stock for ages. And I think that's it. And just some cleaning stuff. But yeah, that's everything that I got. Like I said, we do have our fresh veggies and meat that we got yesterday, but that's just like my snacks i guess i'm gonna try this oh did you try this flavor yesterday peter the choc hazelnut yeah but it's monthly so it's sort of wrong oh really you should you mix, mix. apparently if you mix them um with a fork yeah, I just bloody whisk, so it's for long, right? oh my god no it's just the beta thing it's i'm gonna and that was like it looked like a smoke Okay, so I'm going to make a mixed berry and banana. By the way, someone did say that so it says here, serving size is 40 grams, and then it says in brackets, two scoops. But someone said, be careful because... 70 or what? Two scoops. 70 grams. Peter, I'm going to measure it now. It's 
Why are just I'm gonna weigh how much one scoop is because they shouldn't really have that on their packaging. So it's saying 40 grams for two scoops. And like usually a scoop is like that, like a level. Let's see how much this is. Yeah, so that's 30. So really two scoops is 60 grams, not 40 grams. Mine's at 70. Well, mine wasn't like heaped. You probably did like a heaped uh, scoop. Top. Anyways. Like a, a sigh consistency. Okay, yum. Oh my god, yum. Look at this consistency of it because it's a custard, it goes so thick. Oh my god. Oh my god, yum. That's good. Hey guys, thought I'd give you a little update. So Peter and I just did a little stock count. I also have, oh, is that sauce or a pimple? I also got a pimple that I popped. Um, we did a little mini stock take. We obviously like didn't put every single item on the website for like exchanges or returns but um yeah we just wanted to keep like i don't know like five or six of each item here in case of that happening we have had a few ring swaps for the sizes and a few like i've accidentally or we've accidentally put in the helix studs instead of like the clip back so we've had to exchange them um what else have we had i've accidentally sent a um 14 inch necklace um instead of a 20 inch necklace so we've had to do some exchanges so yeah that's why we did have like we do have some stock still left i didn't um i didn't announce it on my instagram just because we don't have a lot like there's probably only like there was literally three huggies because we did oversell on lots of the huggies which was super annoying like i had to message probably 10 people and say Sorry, you checked out at the same time as someone else and they got the last two and then I've had to refund or I've just put some on the waiting list for the next shipment. But all the Huggies are pretty much sold out. Like I think I only put like two 8 mil Huggies on the website. But there was a few um, V necklaces, um, ring sizes. The popular sizes are probably from 7 to nine and then five and six weren't so popular because they're tiny teeny tiny um so yeah we've put them all up on the website now and yeah we've gotten this many orders because we do have a integration app um on shopify for those business owners it is called i'm pretty sure it just came with it <laughs> look at me in the background pretty sure it just came with it like i don't think i actually installed it, or maybe I did it's called back in stock restock alerts and I did like a month free trial and then I think after that you have to pay monthly to have that sort of feature on the website so definitely recommend because like I said I literally just got like 30 orders from like people that have put in their email or phone number to notify them when stuff goes back on the website and just from that alone, there was like 30 orders and they're still coming through now. So yeah, definitely recommend that app. It's called Back in Stock Restock Alerts. How many do we have? I think we've got like 25 or something like that. But yeah, that's what we're going to do tonight. So I will chuck you guys up here somewhere. And yeah.
super glowy. I just lathered it in Esme. Um, we ended up doing like 30 orders yesterday. So random. And then we woke up to another like 20 this morning. So I just posted on my Jazz Handmade Instagram just of whatever stock was left over. And I feel like just like really briefly looking at the orders, I feel like it's all pretty much sold out now. So I'll go post them to the post office just because when you only have, I guess I do have like 30 or so. I've just kind of put it in a massive bag. You can take it to the post office or you can um, order a pickup and it's free. If you, I think there's like a minimum of $40 worth of shipping. They'll come to your house or they'll come to wherever and pick up your parcels for free and they'll take that. But just because I'm going to the gym and the post office is like right next to the gym, I just thought I'd just drop in and drop the parcels off. When I get back from the gym, I need to film a video for a makeup brand. So I think I'm just gonna do an IGTV. I think that was the brief. IGTV or Instagram video, I'm not sure. I've gotta obviously read that through. Um, but it's a cool brand. Um, and then I'll obviously post the rest of the parcels that were made last night. And yeah, I'll also go through my skim stuff that I got. The other day, it feels really nice. I tried the bike shorts on and they're so soft. Um, I, don't, I can't remember if I told you guys on here, but like one night I was up until like 3 a.m. standard. And I like was on Instagram and I saw Kim Kardashian's story and she said, just restock, swipe up to shop. And I like really quickly went on and ordered a few things. It did take like four weeks to arrive. This is one of their high-waisted Gs. I tried it on, it's really supportive actually. And then this is another color. And then I just got a chocolate brown body suit because I'm obsessed with chocolate brown. I just love this material. It's really nice. I got a medium and everything, I think, just to make sure it all fits. Oh, this one's in a small. The body suit and then the shorts are in a medium. But yeah, these are, they're meant to be like shapewear, but like I'll literally wear this with a oversized tee or oversized jumper, like over the top because they're so nice um but yeah that's just my plan oh, what am i gonna have i did buy these mcmuffins yesterday because i just felt like it i don't know why i was just in the shop i was like oh they look good and the calories were not too bad it's like 120 cows for one muffin which is like pretty good um 19.5 grams of carbs i follow lots of like fitness um instagrammers that do comps and they always share their food and i always get inspo from them. I think this was from Lauren Simpson's story, actually. I love her. Um, yeah, and she also got the rye cruskets as well. Um, she always shares heaps of like low cal options. So I tend to steal her ideas. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know if I feel like this right now. I'm not really like a McMuffin person, but I just, I was influenced to get it, you know? So yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll have it tomorrow. I'll have like um, bacon, eggs, and avocado on it or something. But I just feel like oats. I don't know why. I just, I don't know. I crave it every morning. So I'm gonna make some oats. Whatever's in that basket. Yeah, in the big basket, it's clean. Just got back from my PT session, went to the post office. I also got a delivery of these. Ooh, I think they've melted a little bit, actually. How cute are they? These little candles. They smell so good, but yeah, I think they melted in transit. I have a little like dish that I might put them under, like a little, oh, my coasters would look really nice underneath them. Um, yeah, I got them. They're from the brand. Here it is. Um, 
UNE Femme official. So cute. I love that the body shape isn't like perfect. It's like an, a fucking real life body. Well, the one that I have in my room, because they sent me two, I've already put it in my room, is like a pregnant woman. Then I got this package from Oz Hair and Beauty. I was talking about them a couple of vlogs ago, but basically they reached out to me, even though I was going to order their wet brush because I had so many um, people recommend it. So... Oz Hair and Beauty, how cool. Oh my God, how cute. So this is the brush that I was talking about and apparently it's amazing to brush your hair with when it's wet. Glides through and tangles without breakage or pain. So that's the brush. And then I got some more Evo shampoo. I used to use this when I was um, on the Gold Coast with um, La Sorella. She always used to recommend this. And then I got this blonde shampoo to try, also by Evo. Um, and then I got, this is so nice. It smells like Starburst. It's a shine spray, also from Evo. Um, La Sorella always used to use that in my hair and I used to love when she did it. So I got one and then I, oh, this is spilt a bit. I got a, what is this called again? It's like a teaser brush. Yeah, teasing brush, which looks like this. Also by Evo, so I don't have one. And then I got this because I used to use it all the time. It's like leaked a little bit. It's the Di Lorenzo Silver Shampoo. OG of mine, I used to use it all the time. And then like I, I use that and the fudge, but I don't really have like a specific blonde shampoo that I always use. I like the Bondi Boost mask. That's what I've been using just because it's in my shower, but I just thought I'd pick up this one as well. And then I wanted to get some cuticle nail clippers and a, is it like a blackhead extractor, pimple extractor and a little lollipop they've put in. So thank you so much for all of those goodies. So once again, they are from ozhairandbeauty.com. All of those brands. Um, they also do stock Olaplex as well. So yeah, I'm excited to try this. I might even try, I might try this one when I wash my hair today, actually. God, guys, I'm dying. I'm just about, to... I just got, um, well, not completely ready, but I just did my hair and put on some clothes for filming, but this just arrived. Oh my God, I saw it on Instagram and I messaged her and she had one left, so I bought it. Oh my gosh, it's much bigger than I thought. It's so pretty. I think it would look really cute, like on a dining table, like when we get it. How gorgeous is it? I love it. I can't wait to finish our house. But yeah, she makes these ceramics. This would look really cool on my bedside table, actually. Like with nothing else but a coaster, maybe. Might be a bit big though, but it's amazing. It's from. Where is it? Ciara Mix. S E A R A Mix. M I K S. Um, so, yeah, just got that. I'm about to go and film. I've got so many. What are the odds of like. <laughs> those two arriving at the same day um yeah i'm just about to go and do my makeup i just blow dried my hair it feels so fresh um i gotta make sure that i don't actually break it because knowing me i would i haven't like blow dried my hair properly in feels like weeks i'm just about to yeah like i said film a makeup tutorial for a makeup brand i don't know what look i'm gonna do i feel like i want to do something different but I also get so many questions about like my everyday like shoot style looks like just bronzed, gold, smoky eye, glowy skin. So I think I might do that, but I'll see what colors um, are in the palette. So I'll play around with them, but yeah, I'm going to go do my makeup. And I'll show you guys what it looks like after. Having this as a little snack. I haven't tried these ones actually, the Rye Cruskets. Just with some avocado 
cherry tomatoes and salt and pepper. I'm just having my genora. This is the look that I filmed. It's like a burgundy, ready. It's really nice. I used the NYX, the new NYX palettes, the ultimate eyeshadow palettes, and they're actually really pigmented for the price. You can get them from Priceline, but that's the company that I worked with for that video. Super exciting. I also just did a reel um, or TikTok. I don't know what I'm going to um, put it on yet, but you know those videos where they're holding the phone in the mirror and they drop it and then they do like a reverse video as if like they've changed. I don't know, but like these videos, <laughs> like in just normal mode, it's so freaking funny. Like, oh, <laughs> uh, look, ready? Okay, so that's one outfit. <laughs> Me going up and picking up the phone, it's so funny. I don't know how I'm gonna edit it though. Maybe I'll just edit it on a uh, app that I have. Um, I always get messages asking actually how I edit Instagram, like I IGTVs or like if I wanted to pre-film content and like have them all in the one video rather than like sometimes I have to do stories for approval and it just makes it easier me making like a one big video and then just uploading that as it is. Um, it's called InShot, the app. It's not gonna lie, it was really hard to kind of get my head around, but once you get used to it and you know how to edit, it's super, super easy. So again, it's called InShot. I used to use iMovie and then airdrop it to my phone, but I just find InShot like really good anyways. And like, you don't even have to like do it on your laptop. You can do it all on your phone. You can also record a voiceover if you want um, because the uh, iPhone quality, like when you're doing voiceovers is actually really good. Like I feel like sometimes I prefer it over my, the Zoom external microphone that I got, the $500 one. Um, I barely even use that actually. Only when I really do like uh, clothing hauls when I'm using my Canon, which is what I'm using now, which I need to get fixed because it is still broken. I don't know if I go and get it fixed and like if they can fix it just stay with the Canon or try Sony. I saw Shani is trying the new Sony camera and it also flips out, which would be really good for vlogging, but I just don't know. Because this is still under warranty, so technically they can send it back and repair it because it is under warranty. But the thing is, if I do send it back, I'm gonna be vlog cameraless for like 10 days, but I can always just like vlog on my phone or vlog on my bigger camera that I don't use. But yeah, it's just like separating myself from my vlog camera because I literally use it like six times a week. Like this camera has just been through it all. But yeah, I'm about to make my protein cookie of the day. Today's flavor is, I already put it in the bin, caramel honey macadamia. Yum, I love all three of those. Except when I did try honey recently after not having it for a couple of years, I don't know if I like it anymore. It's just so sweet because I'm sugar free. Um, well, majority of the time. So when I had honey on the Gold Coast with my oats, I was like, that was sickly sweet. So hopefully this isn't too bad, but I don't think I've ever tried a flavor that I don't like. So yes, I'm gonna go and I might take a few pics. I haven't had fresh hair and like nice makeup in a while. So I might take a few pics. if I've got some clothes to shoot and yeah. That's pretty much my Arvo. We've got about 30 orders from today that we need to pack. Peter's actually packing them as we speak. Bless, like honestly bless. He was doing it while I was filming. And then I'm gonna go help him after I have my little protein cookie and afternoon coffee. And that's it. That's all from me. Good morning, guys. What the hell just happened? So my stacks launch was this morning. I was in bed when the launch, um, launched and the crew jumper sold out don't know people in like six minutes what do you mean we literally ordered like a lot like i honestly thought we would be okay and they just sold out within six minutes like dom was telling me that there was like over two thousand people on the website um, just before nine, which is insane because I just, I don't know. I'm not going to say I wasn't confident and nervous with this collection, but like, 
like I said, this print isn't for everyone. Like I just, I don't, I just did not expect the response and I did not expect that at all. Like I honestly thought, like I always go into launches and stuff with not the highest expectations because if I did have high expectations and then they weren't met, then I'd be disappointed. So I always kind of like underestimate launches, but I, I actually, I'm shook. Like I'm so shook that they're sold out. And unfortunately there won't be a restock unless I try and convince Don otherwise. But he was just saying because of COVID and because of the fabric, like it's, takes so long to get the fabric and then get them printed because they actually have to like source the fabric then get the fabric printed and then they get it made so it's like a long process and he said it can take up to 12 weeks if they did open pre-sale um 12 weeks away is like summer yeah they just try to avoid pre-sale as much as they can um i couldn't even imagine doing a pre-sale for my jewelry like just because i haven't really got my head around my website and like how it works a hundred percent yet. Like I literally just finished my first launch and like the fact, like I wouldn't even know how pre-sale would work. I don't even have that option on my website, but um, I could just imagine how stressful it would be just to get all this money from so many people and not knowing how much or how many orders because it's just open to everything is like a bit scary. So yeah, unfortunately, there's absolutely no restocks of the collection unless you hear me on stories say otherwise. But I just wanted to say thank you so much for always supporting my collections with stacks. Like, you know, like I fucking love stacks and like it's literally a dream to be able to design active wear and sell it. Like I just can't deal. So thank you so much for those that shopped today. Um... But yeah, I'm about to um, actually post a few orders. I had, a, I think, five or so last night come through. There's literally like, I think all the, or most of the charms are all sold out. And I get that people like um, would just rather wait for all the necklaces and like the huggies to be in stock to order the charms. But like, like if I was a customer i'd probably just wait and not just order the charms separately but there's been some people that have still just ordered the charms but i get that people want to wait for everything to be up, like in stock to then get everything so currently we have sizes five to nine and i'm gonna extend it to five to eleven just because i did get a few um messages from you guys asking for bigger sizes so i've just decided to add two more sizes in to the ring so i'll be restocking all the vanity rings and i don't think a new ring will be in the next drop but maybe the drop after maybe around christmas time um but yeah i'm designing new rings as we speak and that is super exciting i'm so excited and another new jewelry item that i don't have on the website currently you probably could guess but it's yeah nothing that i have on the website like the style not style but like the type so it's not charms not earrings not necklaces it's something else so fingers crossed for next launch i'm just still getting samples of the packaging because i obviously need a different box so i'm just getting those samples now um sent to my jewelry manufacturer and then she's actually sending me them all together with my next samples as well so hopefully i should get that hopefully next week she sent it through dhl so i'll probably get it within like four days because dhl are amazing um yeah that's all i have to really update you guys on i'm gonna pack a few orders because i feel like you guys love that so i've got laura i've already done mariah diane and emma and then i've just got april and amanda so let's print off the shipping labels first what i do is i'm going to select all and print Let's see if I can do these in time for the next pickup, which is today. They should be coming very soon, actually. Just plug this in. The printer is offline. It's not though. Oh. It wasn't plugged in by. There we go. Then they all print out. I think I've got three. Three left, yeah. Um, okay. So then I just go into my Shopify. 
we'll do Laura's first. So Laura from New South Wales got the Rose Gold the May for your studs. Oh my God, it's such a mess in there. So I'm gonna, I've already washed my hands, but I'll just sanitize them again. That's a ring box. I also am placing my next bulk order for my packaging today as well. I just need to roughly calculate how many I need, but I'm pretty much doubling all my stock for the next time around. I feel like if I tripled or quadrupled what I had, it would just be way too much work for us. Like we're just still like a small business starting up and there's only going to be like four of us packing the next time around. Like there was three and I think we're going to need a fourth person. So I'll get Peter's sister to probably help, but I just feel like it would just be way like too overwhelming if I ordered like three or four times the amount because we literally, I ordered uh, just over 2,500 pieces last drop and like the majority of it was gone and that was in 833 orders. So just imagine if I just did triple that, that would have been like 833 times three, like three times the amount of work that we just did. Like it's just crazy. Like I can definitely, like, that's just goals to me. Obviously, in the future when I have people hopefully working for me and I'm not, like, in my spare room of my house, I'm just so grateful to be in this position right now, like, literally worrying about selling out, whereas some small businesses, like, don't even make a sale a day and I'm here, like, stressing about freaking selling out. But, like, I don't know. I just have really high expectations and I, like, like to please everyone and when – something sells out that someone wants, I get like upset. I get upset because I work so hard. I just want everyone to get everything they want. And it's a bit impossible when you have over, I don't know, 500,000 followers across all platforms following me. Like, I feel like I need a whole bloody team, but like, obviously you always start small and work your way up, which is what I'm doing. And I feel like it's the smartest thing to do otherwise. Um, yeah. So after I've done that, I'm just going to polish them like that. They're so pretty. Um, and then I've got to get my box. So this is how the boxes come. And then you just fold them like this. We'll be pre um, doing the boxes before the launch. Definitely. Cause it definitely helps. Okay, and then I've got my tissue paper, chuck it in, that, my sticker, I'll add some of these in, I need to order some more of these, biodegradable peanut. I'm also getting samples of another mailer box design and I'm super excited. I don't, I don't know if I'll have it for the next drop or maybe the drop after, but um, yeah, I'm excited for that. Ooh, and by the way, for those asking, I got these made overseas, these um, custom boxes and mailers because nowhere in Australia makes pretty ones like this. So hard to find. So I literally had to source manufacturers from overseas. And that's it. That is Laura, Laura's order from New South Wales. And I will chuck that in here and do the next ones. Hey guys, forgot to update you guys on here this morning, but I went to do my second PT session. We did upper body. I did film it for my Instagram, but the main reason why I came on here is because I made a fucking amazing smoothie bowl with the casein custard. So I used that water, ice, mixed berries, banana, a bit of glutamine. What do you mean? Like, I probably added a bit too much water but 
that's like the consistency wow how rude i'm like eating with a mouthful um of my smoothies like i wasn't actually like meant to make a smoothie bowl but i just decided last minute look at that that's actual acai that's literally better than acai i'm not joking oh my god mm. we need to try this with the coconut caramel or any flavor but wow so I'm absolutely pissing myself. I lit this candle just because I wanted that little like drop effect. Look how it's, <laughs> look how it's melted. I'm pissing. What the hell? Like I love it, but like just, I just can't. It's so freaking funny. Um, I think I'm gonna, but like next time I burn it, I'll burn it and like maybe. I don't know, burn it so it burns like down a different strip, but that's just so funny, had to share. Um, I'm gonna go enjoy this and I'll show you guys what I got in my post office just before. Received today at 5.22 p.m. Hi, it's just me, I just spoke to Pega. Um, just saying if you want to land over, he said to call you. I just missed her call because I was doing stories and just as I was about to press send or like post to stories, she calls me if I want to get Nando's tonight. You betcha. I'm going to do a little unboxing. I actually look sweaty. I don't even know why. Like my face is just so freaking hydrated right now that's right i'm gonna do a little haul i've been organizing all of my huggies and um jewelry in these it's really really random but like it does the job in these bunnings that i think they're meant to be for like nails but obviously like all empty yeah as i was saying i've been organizing all of my huggies and stuff in these for when we were packing and stuff like that and it was just really handy obviously there's no huggies because there's not in stock but yeah it's just gonna make it so easier for the next restock um, we did have something similar, but it was just a little bit more messy than that. Peter was just at Bunnings before and I told him to get me another one because I needed another tier. Um, so yeah, Bunnings, I'm pretty sure they're like $30. Bit pricey, but it's like proper, like, you know, that metal. So yeah, that's what I've been using for my huggies and just to organize my jewelry. But I'm gonna do a little unboxing of the other stuff. I'm so excited for this. I'm actually gonna get my phone because <gasps> look, it's another wig. It's gonna go on to, she just emailed me the, her name is Lauren. She's a 16 inch, 180 density. Everyone went crazy over your blonde wig. So I thought I would release this one as a part of my ready to order collection. Um, your 10% off code is still jazz and people can still use it. Oh my God, I'm so excited. So Avasi Wigs, she made my blonde wig. Oh my God. <gasps> wow, the packaging though. Love me some good packaging. I'm so excited for this. I've been pretty much like packing orders all day. Um, and just like replying to emails and stuff like that. So I haven't really been doing much. Oh my God. Oh my God, I'm going to be unrecognizable. I'm going to put it on right now. They're just such good. I just don't know how she does it. I've got a brown wig. Finally, I'm pretty sure it's, oh, it's so soft. I'm pretty sure it's similar, um, like density and length. I think my blonde one might be a little bit longer, but are we trying it? <gasps> I'm just going to put it on very roughly. Holy shit. And I literally just got my blonde done as well. So I'm going to look so weird. Oh my 
god, it looks so freaking real. I feel like if I had makeup on, it would just make it look so much more realistic. I look so weird. No. <gasps> nah. Oh my god. I reckon with a full beat. I actually love the length of this. It's not too long. I reckon with a full beat and if I like put it down, like stick it down properly. I'm honestly, I'm pranking Peter. I'm going to do it tomorrow and say that I box dyed my hair and bought brown extensions and I'll vlog it. I'll fully do my hair and makeup. Well, not my hair, but I'll do my makeup and put the wig on properly with my bald cap which it comes with. I might even like, secure, oh, I've got that wig fix thing. I'll put that on and like really secure it down so it looks like real. Even though it still looks like pretty realistic and I just put it on really, oh my God, I can't take myself seriously. Yeah, I'm gonna prank him and be like, I just dyed my hair, I'm just so bored. Maybe I'll put like a hair mask in and like um, say, oh, I'm dyeing my hair. And then he'll be like, nah. Probably about Nando's. Yeah, anyways, I'm gonna prank Peter and say that I um, am dying my hair. He'll be like, no, I don't believe you. And then I'll literally go do my hair like in this bathroom and put this wig on and my makeup and be like, told you. Cause he, he will believe, like he'll believe that that's not a wig. Cause I'm not gonna tell him that I got a wig. Oh my God, okay. <gasps> I actually love it. What the hell? I don't think I would I just can't take myself seriously now because I don't have my like my makeup done. You know, when you've got your hair like nicely done and you just feel like it, it just doesn't look right when your hair is like really nice and then you have no makeup on. That's what I feel like right now. But I feel like with makeup, this would be a vibe. But in saying that, I don't think I would ever dye my hair this color. It's just not me. I've done it before in school from like a nice mousy brown. I actually dyed it like purple brown. Like, was it purple black? It wasn't black, but it was a very, very, very dark brown. Like darker than this with like a purple tinge. And I fucking hated it. I was like, why did I just do that? It just made my skin, like, it just made me look pasty and just like, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I like blonde hair with tan skin. Like, I think that just suits my complexion the best. I've tried it. I've tried brown, I've tried like a dark color, and I just think blonde is what's just gonna always suit me. So I'm actually so excited. I was gonna post stories as well with it today. That's all right. Ooh, sweet. Um, yeah, I was gonna post stories with it, but I'm just gonna hold off and scare the fuck out of him because to be honest, he always like has said, go brown, go brown. Cause like, I don't know if he likes brunettes, but like he's always just like, oh, I reckon you should um go brown like for something different. I'm like, um, there's absolutely no way. So he either like likes brunettes or yeah, I don't know what he's trying to do. He's trying to stitch me up. All right, next one is from Hideaway. I think they've just brought out a new scent. By the way, my code for Hideaway still works. I always get messages asking. It's just Jazz. Capital J-A-Z. And it gets you, I think, 15% off, which is pretty cool. And it's also an affiliate code as well. Oh, yeah. Wait, it's a sanitizing... Oh, my God. How is that a sanitizer? It doesn't even smell like it. Kills 99.9% .9 of germs alcohol-free. Bye, that's going on my um, desk. But that's really nice. I don't even know that they launched them. Um, one more package. And then I've got to go get ready for Nando's. This is my Esme top up, I'm pretty sure. How cool is their branding? I absolutely love their packaging and their boxes and stuff. Oh my God, I was actually on the website today looking at their new products probiotic milk it's in a milk carton that's so cool i absolutely love esme they are australian made they're like an all natural vegan um 
cruelty, yeah, cruelty free, paraben and sulfate free, vegan and mineral skincare and makeup brand. Um, I'm obsessed with their serums. Like you've seen me talk about them and rave about them on Instagram. They're amazing. And these are, let me just help heal hypersensitive skin. It says probiotic skin milk enriched with beneficial bacteria. Use a dropper drip a thumb size amount of milk into your fingertips and your palm massage into your skin after cleansing perfect for under makeup or sunscreen can be worn morning and night and used in conjunction with other skin treatments. okay so that one's that one and then this one is okay so this is just i think maybe like their original one and this one's their hydrating one i feel like i'll be trying the hydrating one first cute i love these so excited to try thanks so much i'm so excited for my hair prank tomorrow i'm gonna have to remember to do it um as well but yeah i'm gonna go and get ready i think i might just put some tight like long tights on maybe my angel tights so yeah i'm gonna go and get ready oh, i'm so excited to label this i've just been labeling them with um this i got it from office works it's the brother p touch label it's pretty good um, but yeah, that should make our life 10 times easier when we're packing for the next restock. And I'm so much more confident um, going into this next restock now because we know how it all works and like things that we were confused about and like we just didn't know. We really learnt as we were like just getting orders. Like we had obviously no, I have no experience in this ever. And I feel like we did a pretty good job. Like there were some um packages unfortunately going to like completely different states like i had like a few um emails from people saying they weren't able to track their parcel yeah that was super annoying there was quite a few of them um probably like five or six but yeah like i said it's out of my control and thanks for bearing with me if you were one that haven't or hasn't received their parcel yet and even if you haven't still just make sure you check the tracking if it hasn't updated since like the day after i launched then something's not right maybe call oz post just email me i'll get onto it um but yeah if you can't see any movement it means like it's either not scanned and lost which is so annoying um or yeah like just let me know. Yeah, majority of you guys should have received their packages by now because it's been, yeah, it's been two weeks. Um, I know that there are still people getting them, especially in Victoria. And for those that didn't actually choose express shipping, I think it's still in transit. Like that's how long OzPost is taking with non-express. I know that they are prioritizing express because it's express and you're paying more. Um, but yeah, I think the standard shipping is still in transit. So hopefully by let's say mid next week, maybe end of next week, everyone should have gotten their jazz handmade. So how exciting. I've been loving seeing you guys post on Instagram as well. Like tagging me in stories. I've been reposting them all. So make sure you tag me when you're wearing it or when you receive it, because it honestly makes me so happy seeing that. Um, okay, I need to stop talking, otherwise I will never get ready. I will chat with you guys later. Hey guys, good morning. Happy Saturday. I just did my makeup on live on Instagram and I really like it. I filmed a little TikTok as well. It's like pinky, purpley vibes. I'm about to film a Princess Polly haul. Do I think I showed you guys this? I'm filming here today. Um, I got these little clout there, kids. Um coat hangers from Big W. How cute are they? I think I should have got more though because obviously have way too many clothes for the hangers but how cute. So I'm going to film Princess Polly haul today and yeah Peter's working so I just thought I would take advantage of the time at home by myself and film a little haul so that'll be up next week. Um, little update on my plan. I just left it outside for now but I'm gonna definitely put it inside i've just watered it like once every like five days or so um but yeah i'm gonna get a bigger pot from bunnings as well to put it in and a little like stick for when it does start to grow um but yeah that's a little plant update and i'm gonna go film now so i will chat with you guys later this is the aftermath of filming a princess poly haul <laughs> oh my god there's shit everywhere why is that there far out i filmed here and I did a little reel 
um, you know, those reels that you just, what is it? How do I explain it? Like you're, you take a video in each outfit and you stay like that and then you edit it. So it's like, it's like a spinny wheel. So I did that. If you don't know what I mean, you probably think I'm insane, but yeah. Also, they are from Princess Polly too. They're really cute. So yeah, I just filmed a haul right here. So that's like the background of the video. I thought it was really cute. Don't even ask me how I got that there. This fucking weighs a ton. And I was like, shit, what am I gonna do to, to move it here so I don't have to call Peter to come and help? I wouldn't have done that anyways, but I got a towel and put it on like one edge on the bottom and just dragged it like that. I'm such a problem solver, but I could not, like even, I don't even think Peter could have just lifted that and put that there. So he's going to be like, what the fuck? How did you get that there? Um, but yeah, I need to go and edit this video as well and Princess Polly's haul. So I'll be very, very busy tomorrow. Hopefully I'll get my vlog finished by today. It doesn't take too long. I feel like I'm really quick at it now. All up, it probably takes about three hours because I've got to look over the footage, edit it, and then I've got to rewatch it. So, yeah. My balloons are still going strong. We still don't have a fucking dining table and I just keep forgetting to like look online. I think I'm gonna do that next week. That's gonna be my priority next week is look for a dining table and a entertainment unit because I'm just over it. Like we're just like so comfortable in this house and it's like unfinished. So I feel like embarrassed having people over. Like what, what about when Riley comes over eventually? I, am I just gonna be like, oh, you have to freaking eat on the couch because we've only got three stools. Like, I need a dining table ASAP. If you guys want to help me out, let me know. I really want a marble one, but I know I've said that so many times. I'm probably so annoying, but I guess it doesn't have to be marble. Maybe like a concrete -y, thick look. That might be cool, but I don't know. Like, this whole area is greys. Greys, whites, and beiges. And we've got a marble coffee table there. We still haven't done that either. Like, our fucking house is a hot mess. <laughs> Oh, I'm really tempted to just put that back in the box. Peter will kill me. He really wants to finish it. Um, yeah. Let me know if you... Can you just like link me or send me some good websites? Because I've been on Nick Scarly. I've been on Harvey Norman. They're like either 10 grand or the cheaper ones are ugly. And I don't know if I want to spend 10 grand on a freaking table, to be honest. Um, I'd rather put that into the business. <laughs> but yeah, if you have any like... I, I'd say my budget would be like two grand. I don't think I would spend more than two, two, two and a half grand on a table, surely that's taken the piss. But I don't know. Let me know. And also a nice white entertainment unit. I feel like I need to like hire someone to do up my house, but like I love doing that. I just, I honestly have like not found the time. Like it's, we've been in here like literally almost a year, wow. And we don't have a dining table, what do you mean? So yeah, this is how careless I am because I know I will lose that if that's not attached. <laughs> Need to edit that. <laughs> I'm about to fulfill some orders. I got a few today, which is cool. Um, unfortunately, I can't actually uh, send them off until Monday. I'm also just wearing this cute little set from Princess Polly. Put the light on. Um, sanitize my hands. Okay, so I've got three here. That was from before. Um, okay, I've got two DHL orders and then one normal. She got an everyday necklace, solid gold, um, glow charm in solid gold, and a Verona necklace in solid gold. Shout out to you if you watch my vlogs, Stacy. That's so cool. Is that Ohio? Is that what it stands for? OH? Okay, so I've got. Set you guys up somewhere so you can see a little bit better. It's a bit better. Okay, so I'll go and get the stock. As I was saying, I was editing a reel and then my phone died. So I really hope that it's saved because it honestly took me so long and I'm not even finished. I'm going to be so frustrated. I'll show you guys a little sneak peek of it. Come on. 
Oh my god, I think it worked. Yes! I'll show you guys. I still need to fix the timing because, yeah, it's all over the shop. But that's what I was just doing for the past hour. Oh, okay, thank God it saved. Not gonna lie. Okay, so Stacy got a Verona necklace. I've just inspected them all. So nice. Love this necklace so much. We'll chuck that in there. And then she got the plain. 14 to 16 inch and I'll put the glow charm on it. I don't have any boxes made up so I'm having to do them all. Care guide. Mailer. I'm getting so quick at this as well. soon I've tried to put it on properly but I've just got that wig fix on I feel like it looks pretty realistic but I want to kind of how can I make it look more realistic I can't put it up I tried to do this because I usually have my hair like that does that look a bit more realistic maybe not Oh my god, imagine if I had brown hair. This is so nice. Like, this is like the density of my... Oh, it's probably a bit thicker, actually. But it's like similar density to my hair. What do you guys think? I can't get over how realistic it looks. Like, she does such a good job. Wow. New me. Um, okay, I'll try and film the reaction. I'm just editing this vlog, actually. Having couscous and chicken. But I asked him when he was going to be home, and he was like, why? Um, so I never really asked him. I was like, oh, just wondering, I'm bored. So I'll film his reaction. Not in there. Where? It's a wig, it? No, it's not. Yeah. I dyed it. <laughs> it's, a wig. it's not. It is. It's not. I've, I've got extensions. I actually dyed it today. No, you didn't. The wig, you didn't go there just as uh... No, I dyed it with a box. No, you didn't. I box dyed yeah, it. It's a wig. You can tell. 
If it was a bit like lighter, it may be a little bit less wig like, but whatever. Okay, I need to edit this video. Hey guys, so we're actually going to take my camera back to JB Hi Fi today. So I'm gonna end this vlog here in case they have to take it, which I think they would, but I am buying a new one today anyway, so. I'll have a camera for tomorrow, but I thought I would end this vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next week in next week's vlog. Bye.